at the Federation annual meeting. Uh, dear fellow members of the Federation, you can well imagine that after founding this organisation on the 3rd of September 1947 and formally launching it on the 1st of January 1948 and having been its only general president during that period and having been the sole editor of the Justice's Bulletin from May 1950, I give up these offices with much sadness because of ill health. I will not be seeking any office this year. Continuing bad health forces me to take life very easy. This is the last occasion on which I can urge all you members who are seeking office not to be, not to do so unless you are willing and able to carry out your job in accordance with the rules. Adding just that little extra bit that every officer will do. I wish the Federation every success adding naturally that in the future I will give any help I can especially to new officers. Now ladies and gentlemen, I have said that I cannot accept any elected office, but if some kind member would like to nominate me as a patron, chief patron if you like, I would I will accept nomination with much pleasure. And cheerio friends. Yours sincerely, C.K. Thompson. Very good, thank you, Charles. Just, just especially. <coughs> you started off as a branch of the New South Wales Justices New, Association. Oh, no, 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 it's New South Wales Justices and Honorary Members, New South Wales Justices Association. Wait a minute. New South Wales Justices and Honorary Magistrates Association. Oh, so Newcastle became uh, a section a member of this? Yeah, that's how we started. Well then, when they sent us down, they started to kick us in the ribs. They wouldn't look, they wouldn't do a thing for us. They wanted all our money, all our subscriptions, and allow us half a crown a member for uh, uh, expenses in a bike a stamp or uh, uh, correspondence. They wouldn't allow us to have our own letters printed. I oh, don't know. All the time. So I called a special general meeting and, and put it up to them. Well, we, we decided in the body to resign and form our own organisation. We held the meeting up in the uh, rugby union room. Yes, George Green was sick of the rugby union at the time. We got it and we resigned in the body. Everybody signed the resignation and there were half a dozen that couldn't make the meeting. Well, Fred Valentine, Mr. Josie Sullivan, who was the uh, secretary, he trotted around and collected all this and the whole lot and you know, Dr. John, believe it or not, the only reply we got was uh, it was insulting. It, it was written on green paper. As long as it wasn't written on toilet paper. Well, why would God never thought of that? Now, that's a fact. Oh, well, you know, I've got the whole damn record in the... Uh, You've written it up, have you? Where did you join the Federation? Oh, about eight or nine years ago. Yeah, well, I wrote it up. We 
we had a... I wish you'd get me a copy of that because, uh, you know, the original history is valuable. I, uh, I should be able to because I've got one more. We brought out a, a souvenir edition of the book for our, uh, for our tenth year. 1968, it came out, and I, thought, I can't remember what it was, and now they oh, God, it's all there in black, black and white. We didn't pull any punches, we told them what they were. I remember Chicane, who was one of them, was a shroud. They couldn't care, but look, they wanted to get rid of us. And you we, wanted to be got rid of? They wanted to get they wanted to get rid of us. Yeah, we pests. We had the stinging hide to write to them and ask them what what are we going to do for Joe Peter around the place. Right back, mind your own business. Oh, incidentally, I wasn't president. There was only one president. That was the bloke in Sydney. I was a branch manager. Are you a branch manager? I was a branch manager. So we're, we're, uh, we're still the meeting. You see, I went back in the records. Because you know, I went in the board. And uh, <laughs> but, uh, we asked the bloke to, from Sydney to come up and uh, send this meeting. They sent the bloke out. I bet she still has nightmares about it. Oh, heaven, you're right. The army credited. They were perfectly willing to give away 92 members to get rid of us. There's damn pests in Newcastle. Oh. And then they practically went fat in Sydney, I suppose. Oh, well, they, um, they wound up. Yes, they wound up, and then somebody down there started uh, it up again. I got, I belong to the women justices and bought a nice gold badge, which I have, and that was about all that happened. That'll be right. Now, mm. I, uh, I can't remember when I started up again, but now, they have a branch, if you call that, in every Sydney suburb. Mm. 